Hey everybody, this is Travis with Coyote Moon. I own and operate a Squarespace web design studio based in Bend, Oregon. I worked as a Squarespace employee for seven plus years before stepping out on my own. And I would love to chat with you about your web design project. Okay, so today I want to chat with something that's very important to any business owner website, service-based business, e-commerce, anything from SMB all the way to Fortune 50. It's testimonials, it's reviews. There should be a section on your homepage where you are sharing social proof from either your customers, uh, folks that have purchased products from you, et cetera, about their experience. So, um, you know, if you have a Google review, you can copy and paste it directly onto a Squarespace page. Squarespace doesn't have uh, a great number of features and integrations with different product review sites, but I always really focus on um, steering my clients towards just the copy and paste method. If you don't have, for example, an Etsy store, um, if you, you, you know, obviously if you're not an e-commerce seller, you're not going to have product reviews, which is baked into the Squarespace platform. So beyond that, I think that there is this notion from business owners that, well, you know, if there's not a feature to pull them directly into my website, I can't do it. Well, that's just not true. Um, copying and pasting a Google review um, and even adding stars. So if it was a five star review, you can add those stars directly to the and attach them directly to the testimonial as well. So today um, I'm going to walk you through the steps for adding a, <clears throat> a testimonial slash review section to your homepage. I think that's really one of the most important uh, and impactful areas you can add a testimonial section. Um, the about section, the homepage. So um, it's social proof, right? Your friends and your family are sharing something, for example, on Facebook or Instagram about a new e-bike that they purchased and they really love it. They love the speed. They love the brakes. They love um, the new shock system. Maybe it's good for hunting. Maybe it's quiet. Maybe it's fast. Um, so they're sharing all this great information on the social channel. I think that translates directly to your service-based business, right? You should also be sharing that social love with your potential customers, with any site visitor, anybody that lands on your site. Social proof, I think, is one of the most important facets of a homepage content strategy. So today we are going to jump into the back end of a Squarespace demo site. And I'm going to show you a few of the features that Squarespace has already baked in to allow you to spin up a testimonial section from a pre-canned layout. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, we're going to take a look at a, a couple other elements, such as adding images to the testimonial uh, and really making it pop on a section on your homepage. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here on our homepage, we can see that it's comprised of a few different sections. We've got a banner area. We've got classes offering for my demo fitness studio. We've got a little bit about us and then some testimonials. So let's go ahead and jump in and say, for example, we're building a brand new testimonial section. So I want to add that section here directly below the about us. I'm going to minimize my screen just a little so I can see these editing tools. So as we can see in our saved sections, we've got intro contact about people, products, services, portfolios, and boom, testimonials. Let's click into testimonials. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, about 12 different pre-made layouts that you can add as testimonials. So if you want this scrolling feature, they've got that as an option. If you want big and bold with an image, that's an option as well. So. I'm going to go ahead and select the make it stand out section, right? So these are all testimonials. So for example, if we wanted to add a quick product review from one of our customers, I would recommend adding a text block to the bottom end of this image. And we can just paste that in there and remove some of the formatting. And then we have a nice, beautifully built out testimonial. So probably want to format that a little bit better as well. I'm not going to go too in depth on the formatting of this, 
but I will show you guys some really awesome tips and tricks that I think are going to be super useful for you as you start thinking about and building out these testimonials pages, right? Okay, so I've just copied this um, from actually one of my reviews on my homepage, which uh, was an author review, which was really great. Um, if you want to add, let's just say we want to center this to make it kind of look good with the centered image, right? So we've got that. So one thing that is really cool about Squarespace is that you can copy multiple blocks and duplicate them. So for example, if I want this entire layout here to be duplicated across three different reviews, four different reviews, all in a column, um, I can actually select the first one, click command, select the second one. And so they're all selected. So that option, or the other option is just to grab the cursor and drag over everything, right? Same option. Now, this is your duplicate feature, right? Click that and all of a sudden you've got beautifully formatted testimonials, right? So you don't have to reinvent the wheel and recreate those every time you wanna duplicate a testimonial within this section. So it's really cool. So, um, so we wanna do that, let's say one more time so that we have a nice row of three. And we probably want to give it just a little bit of spacing. So that's looking really good. Right? And these little stars, you can actually just copy those from a text editor. So we've added our three testimonials. Now we probably want to give this testimonial section a little header so that as our site visitors are scrolling down the page, they know not only instinctively, but also implicitly that this section is reviews from our customers. What our customers are saying. Something like that, I think is really really impactful. So if we want that to be on two lines, great. If we want to extend it out and make it on one line, we can do that. We can center it so everything's nice and clean. Uh, we can make it a little bigger by using the scaling text feature. So let's say we want to turn our H2 into something a little bigger and bolder. Click the scaling feature and that will retain that H2 heading for SEO while creating a larger font uh, display on the page. I'm just gonna highlight everything and move that up. So now we have this really beautiful testimonial section um, that really matches the look and feel and aesthetic of our homepage. So again, uh, the importance of testimonials, I think, are many fold. One of the first ones is that uh, I think that customers, I think potential buyers are looking for social proof. I think with our modern age and, um, you know, the advent of all, all these social media channels and all of the advertising and marketing that we're constantly fed, that you are accustomed to seeing some sort of social proof. Um, social proof, whether it's through your friends, your network, or your family, or social proof through others that have used similar products or services and had a great experience about it. So um, testimonial section, I don't need to go on about this too much longer. I think you guys um, understand the value here, but I also think that things like stars that are displayed on a page in Google's mind are going to give you higher SEO value potentially. 
Um, also, there are keywords typically that are kind of baked into a customer's review that are helpful for your SEO ranking. Um, another really cool and important thing to note on the testimonial is that you don't have to display the entire long diatribe that somebody wrote you about your product or service. If there's seven sentences in there and four of them are a little wordy or don't really focus on your service or your product, you can cut them out, you can trim them. So long as you keep and retain that essence um, of what the customer had said and what the review was, post that on there. Um, another thing that I would recommend is that you reach out to these customers um, and you ask them for, your, for their permission to put their testimonial up on your website. Um, another thing that it does is it kind of gives a two-way street. Um, you get to promote, obviously, a, a, a five-star review, but also you get to promote potentially their business or their service. So you could for example, you could send a link in this um, uh, demo website to Stephen Hawley's author website, which I built for him. So customers could actually see um, the real live product of the web design that I made for Stephen Hawley by clicking on his link. So um, anyways, um, two-way street here, I think on the testimonials, provide a little bit of value, showcase them also provide a link to their service or their product. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the content I've created, I would love to chat with you a little bit further. I can be reached at Travis at CoyoteMoonCreative.com. CoyoteMoonCreative.com is my portfolio website. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.